Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Friends, today's topic is uh, register message. A SIP register message. Why we need a SIP register message? What are the various headers? What is the use of those headers? And what are the various types of register message? I am going to discuss all this. Uh, all this in details today so it will be in-depth discussion of register message in SIP so uh, friends here I have already uploaded a few more videos related to SIP web and RTP mm, so you can view these videos I strongly recommend to check these two videos before starting other videos so this will give you an in-depth idea of SIP and web how it works so friends let's start today's topic <coughs> So um, let's just see how the uh, why we need a register message. So it's a typical uh, architecture of a SIP uh, environment, uh, web uh, environment, where you have some soft phone registered to your PBX and your SIP trunk or PSTN trunk is connected to your uh, ePBX. So to make a call to this uh, through your web phone or any of your uh, soft phone, you have to register it with the PBX. Once it registered, then only you can make the calls. So this is where the registration is required. Every phone that are connected with the data web phones or C phones, uh, this need to get registered with the PBX first so this is where the registration comes so let's see what are the various types of registration possible basically there are two types of registration for soft phone or web phones uh, these are basically uh, register without authentication and register with digest authentication register without authentication means you can just pass the user id and uh, pbx will allow your uh, registration without checking the password or any other authentication credentials so and digest authentication means uh, PBX, you have to supply your username, username, password, all these details you pass, then it will uh, allow you register and make calls. So let's see what are the flows for register message. <clears throat> As I mentioned, uh, the normal registration without uh, without authentication is just sent a register message with user ID and it gets back the 200 OK. So it gets registered in the PBX. So this, uh, this flow, there is no authentication required. So it just allows registration. So another type of registration is uh, called the digest uh, authentication. So this digest authentication registration is uh, a soft phone or web phone who wants to register with the EPBX send a register message to EPBX. EPBX uh, returns with 401 unauthorized then uh, it sends with authentication header. It sends a register with authentication header. Then uh, EPBX, if authentication is successful, EPBX responds with 200 OK. So this is digest authentication flow. So let's see, friends, how this uh, registration works. Here I have one by phone configured. <coughs> so here I have provided my proxy uh, proxy IP. And here I have configured the username and password. So once I save these details, it gets registered with the PBX. So friends, now see how this registration works. If we see, if we capture the same in uh, Wireshark trace, so we see that uh, it sent a register message. It gets back 401 authorized. Uh, unauthorized then it send a register message with authentication header and 200 ok so let's see all these headers in details now so let's first see what is uh, a normal registration message how it looks like <clears throat> so a normal registration message here it sends the, its uh, So 
so here it sends its uh, proxy IP details uh, so the request URI it sends the IP of the proxy and the things uh, the headers that are uh, useful in I mean required mandatory in a register message or meaningful in register message are this request URI from to and the expires header these are few uh, main headers in uh, register message so the request URI uh, will send the request to the proxy IP so request URI will contain the proxy IP and from and to both will pass the username at the rate proxy IP from and to the IP of the uh, domain or IP is same is the proxy IP and expires uh, expires is contains uh, how long after how long the registration will get refreshed so basically ev after every <coughs> after every expiry uh, it sends a registration re it re-register the soft phone or web phone re-register with the uh, epbx uh, and it sends a register message with the uh, authentication header So friends here you can see that the expiry in soft phone is set to 900 so this is sent as a header as 900 expires time so after every 900 expiry it uh, refreshes the registration by sending a new register same registration request with the same call id uh, and it sets the same authentication header so uh this is a normal uh SIP registration without registration flow without uh, authentication header so here what happens it sends a register message with all the details and proxy response packs with 200 okay so it gets registered in server as well as uh, phone side it shows register so uh, this is one <coughs> Uh, normal without authentication flow now let's see what is uh, how the uh, digest authentication work so here the first registration request it sends is same like the normal uh, registration it sends the user ID uh, and the user ID with the domain and then <coughs> it sends the contact this contact also important friends uh, so contact will contain the username at the rate uh, phone local IP so if the phone local IP is this it will send the local IP here so when it register server stores this contact details in uh, contact details so whenever someone calls to this extension it gets the contact it gets the uh, IP of the the uh, IP of the phone from the contact details so it sends the request to this uh, uh, to this IP so here uh, it sends a register message so once the register message reaches the server EPBX its uh, response back with 401 unauthorized so in 401 there is uh, one important header is the WW authenticate here it sends the digest realm <clears throat> so here it sends the realm and the nonce so once uh, this realm value uh, is depends on the server what it will send so basically most of the cases it sends the domain name of the server or sometimes it sends the IP of the server but it totally depends on server what value it will send for real value and nonce is uh, a unique value uh, generated for this transaction so once the uh, soft phone or uh, web phone receives this 401 it treats this authentication header then it uh, generates the uh, when uh, next uh, it sends a register message with the authorization header uh, 
so when generating the authorization header it needs to send the username and password but uh, see it doesn't send the password it, it uh, it's an md5 algorithm it follows md5 algorithm it follows for sending the authorization calculating the authorization response so i will discuss this authorization response in another video where i will show how this authorization response gets calculated but here <clears throat> you just remember the authorization uh, authorization header uh, it contains the these parameters so username is what is the username it set in a uh, uh, soft phone then the realm it copies the realm for here and sends it here only same realm then the nonce parameter whatever it receives in the 401 unauthorized it says the same nonce here then it sends the uri uri is the uh, request uri that it sends uh, here is the request uri then it sends the response so this response is basically calculated there is a formula to calculate this response this is md5 algorithm so here the password is used as salt so uh, whatever password you set in soft phone here so you see that here you set the username password so whatever password you set here is used as salt to calculate the response and there are some other parameters are included here so this all together the authorization header gets uh, generated and this authorization header is added in the next register request after getting 401 unauthorized so uh, this authorization header calculates and if it is successfully calculated and this register message <coughs> Uh, once it reach uh, to the server if this authorization header is successful uh, server will send it 200 okay and it will get registered to server and uh, software will show registered so here uh, here is the total description of the SIP register message now once the SIP uh, phone gets registered on server how to deregister that SIP phone so there is a formula friends uh, so so to deregister the uh, soft phone or any web phone the only thing needs to change in register message is to send the set the expiry to zero if you set this expiry to, expires value to zero server will deregister and remove the entry registration entry on server so this is how it works so once you send expires with zero it sends a response back with 200 okay and uh, phone gets deregistered on server so friends this is all about the registration details so uh, any anything uh, any queries you can uh, write on my uh, uh, comments video comments so friends if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, don't forget to like share this video as well so if you will subscribe if i will upload new videos you will get the notification here the bell icon so you will get the notification thanks friends thanks for watching this video